Alright, hello everyone. We're back for another tutorial here and this is going to be for a pro guide. Just kind of setting my bag up for, you know, my usage here. Just make sure I got everything good to go. And what I'm going to use on this hole is probably a Kingmaker. Getting that wind down really makes this shot a lot easier. We're going to be going pro division, doing some revisions here for you guys. I already have one set done for you guys and I'm just going to start uploading a new set just to kind of see some alternate perspective here. So one of the things that I did, you know, with a weaker bag, I do highly recommend going up the middle if, you know, you have the clubs to do so. If you can get up there, you know, a POC 3, a POC 4 up the middle, uh, I'm going to recommend that you guys do that. However, for this guide, we're going to kind of go to the left and set up a straight tailwind. Now, this isn't something that I'm usually doing, but I kind of know the shot. I did it a couple times last tournament when we had the Vegas Open here. And so I'll try to go that way again for you guys and put together Perfect shot. a guide. If you guys have not seen this app, it is the uh, Buff Flash Notebook app available in the Google Play Store. And what I'll be using just to kind of, you know, guide me through some ring adjustments. Of course, you can see the, green, the grid as well on the screen. And what you can see here, well, first off, you know, when you have tailwinds like this, I'll usually set the elevation a little bit up. So I'll expect it to land about three rings down from wherever I set my bullseye. So you can see where my bullseye is, and you can see where three rings down towards the uh, right-hand side of that is. So that's where I kind of expect my ball to land when I actually go about hitting this Great shot! shot. So you'll see what I do is I actually try to stay away from the rough to hopefully accommodate for that great ball. So you can see that even with the great ball there, it just kind of shoots up right where we want it. So the next thing that I do is you know, I set my elevation back to normal. I usually play the second shot very normal. And I'll just, you know, set up my numbers here and get ready for my wind while my opponent hits. So here, you know, you can see kind of the effects of going towards the right. You're going to be left with a very big crosswind. So it will be definitely, you know, something that will make your game just a little bit harder. Perfect shot! And what I'll be left with over on the left-hand side is a very straight um, wind here. Let's see if that holds on. You actually might want it not to hold on. It gets a little bit easier. You, you might not be able to make that putt. So rolling off the green is going to be the favorable result that you want there. There you can see it rolls off. It should be a lot easier to make that now. So next thing that I'll do is I'll get my input ready. And I'll just kind of size this shot up. Here you can see min clubs right here. Max is way up here. I'm going to be very close to min. So I'm going to use my slider and set it very close to man. Uh, additionally, you know, I usually use a little bit of backspin here. So here you can see I'm going to use almost a bar or so and just kind of deflect it kind of right into kind of the right edge of the hole. And I'm just going to use this ring, this min ring adjustment number. Well, not the min number, but the one that's highlighted that's very close to min. This is where I'm going to go right around 5.3. For my ring adjustment. And there you can Perfect see shot. The ball. See if I can't get this to climb up. Not for the ball. Nice like off. Too many rings. So it might just be you know, a slight. You know, when you when I move to a lower elevation, you know, here's what I kind of think happened is I moved to a lower ground, so I should go less rings. So maybe had I used that slider, which is kind of set to minus 10%, which would have been about 4.8, that would have been much better. And, you know, that's something that I'll make note of for next time. Because that was only my first time going over there. 
didn't expect it to, you know, I just kind of totally forgot that I'm moving down to a lower elevation from over here. You can see how where I start, it's kind of up on a hill. And then when, as I drag that down to lower Great ground, shot. it kind of changes your trajectory a little bit. And it does not take quite as long to Nice uh, I'm going to remember that and make mental note for next time. And, you know, hopefully be able to get that albatross or very, very close with a couple more adjustments. So good luck with that left method. I do highly recommend it. I do make mental note of what I suggested there with that uh, there with the uphill nature of that shot with how it goes to a higher surface. So um, you might want to keep that in mind for your uh, adjustment. Good luck with that hole there guys and see you guys for hole two coming up.